people, I'm about tired of this Iran crap. Tired, tired, tired. I'm going to tell you what's going on, and if you don't believe me, I don't give a damn. Go look it up. Do some research. Do something. Get your face off the TV. Get your face off the football. Get your face off the ra racing. Get your face off out of the bottle and, and, and do some research, you know. Look things up. Start looking into this. I don't care what you think about what, if you think about the truth movement or what you think about Ron Paul supporters. Listen, man, there's something way deeper than all that. And this is part of it, this Iran crap. They are looking for lost technologies from the period of Atlantis. And the center of where everything restarted or rebooted is Persia or Iran. Why would they change the name? What's wrong with Persia? Why would you change it to Iran? Why do they got, always got to change names of things? Why do they have to change their names? These royalty. One, one minute they're the Windsors, but before that, back in the, the times of King Arthur, they were something else. Or a lot of them were. It was about 1350 families. Royalty. The bloodline. The red carpet. Aminajad is no better than... The, the people we have in place leading us right now. Alright? They're all on the same team. They're all part of specific families. And they're all set up. All war is, all they are doing are, are sacrificing to their gods or the people they get their information from. Blood sacrifices are what these are. They're playing us, the people, against each other. The Iranian people are not its leadership. Just like we are not our leadership right now. This whole thing is a bunch of crap. And I'm tired of it. No Iran. You gotta speak up about this Iran crap. We gotta start to spread this or make your own video. and Start telling this Iran is a bunch of crap. Here, let me play this for you right here. And then I'm gonna comment on it. Yeah, we're sending a strong warning to you. Quit playing games. We are not playing this game. Iran does not have a nuclear bomb. They're making, they, they unveiled a power plant. They're enriching your near, what are we, the world police now? No, we're not the world frickin' police. We're broke. We're frickin' broke. And you want to threaten Iran. Bring our troops back over here and let's just guard our country right now and help people in a different way. Because you guys aren't trying to help people. You black coats. They are introducing a resolution backing the use of U.S. military force. U.S. military force. To stop Iranian leaders from getting their hands on nuclear weapons. The senators are making it clear the time for talk is running out. Distraction by negotiation while you become a nuclear power is not an option for you. And containment of a nuclear Iran is not an option for us. We're for real. There's still time. Do the right thing and you can avoid consequences that are unpalatable to you as well as a last resort for us. We will end their nuclear weapons program. We will prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons capability. This is a deadly serious moment. This shows that the senators are prepared to stand with Israel, but what about the White House? Joining us now, Dan Gilliman. They are full of it. They're not worried about Iran and a nuclear weapon. They're worried about getting Iraq, which is a strategical position. Then they set up, now they're, they're set up all around Afghanistan, Iraq. They're set up all around Iran. And then, then you got Iran who doesn't get along with India. Or Pakistan, I think. And that's all theater. 
That's all theater for them over there. Okay, no, you will. We, if you do this, you senators, uh, who the hell, who voted for these guys? Do do not vote for these guys again, please. Don't vote at all. You know what? Don't vote at all. We need to stop voting at all. Period. We just need to. We just need to go to local places, go to each other, learn how to do things, and forget these corporations, go to the flea market, go to, f quit trying to get the best deal, you're not getting the best damn deal, they're screwing you, with what you're getting a deal for here, unless you went for that one specific thing, they're bending you over over here, with the other thing you gotta get, so it doesn't matter, it's all a big scam, a bunch of scam artists, no, Iran, no. We do not want you to bother Iran right now. Leave Iran alone. Iran didn't say anything about wiping Israel off the map. I saw that clip. It's a, it's a the media twist. He was answering a different question. If I find it, I'll post it. But, no, we don't want this, period. End of story. Take care.